every so often someone decides to send me something. So in this case, this red package belongs to, or was sent by, Armand in Massachusetts. So I wonder what's in here. Well, let's see if this gives you any type of a clue. So a few years ago, I did a whole bunch of uh, particle tests with Electrolux type C bags. And I have this out here because I wonder if what's contained in here, sent me a couple of samples, matches this with some type of like say OEM or reseller customization. So this is a Vacuum America clean bag and as you can see it says clean air H10 HEPA material captures over 99% you know blah 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 blah. You can take a look at the original test that I did and I'll put a link in the description where I compared a bunch of different of these Electrolux Type C bags. Now, this was a great buy at the time, and I got these a number of years ago, and it says uh, nine bags per pack. I think I paid in a quantity of nine of, uh, I'm gonna say maybe a dollar a bag. I'll say this was about nine dollars or so, and it probably was free shipping. So what's in here was a colossally fantastic deal. So we're looking at, he said he got a hundred of these bags, these Type C bags, from eVacuum Store. And the price for 100 quantity, including shipping, was $47. So that would make each bag worth less than 50 cents. It would be 47 cents a bag. And if you have a bunch of Electrolux Type C canisters or you know that the perfect brand canister or anything that uses the type c bag that is certainly bargain of the century so once again thanks to armand for sending me this very sticky package here all right so i think we've gotten the bags out oh <laughs> i just asked for him to send me two but he sent me jeez let's see one uh two three, four, five. Okay, Armand, thanks so much. Didn't really need five, but I really appreciate it. So I think these are a great looking bag and you can tell, let me uh, move some stuff out of the way here. You can tell that eVacuum Store has put their name on these things and they even have a reorder number in here. And no, I'm not sponsored by uh, E vacuum store or anything like that and as a matter of fact i just at the time making this video i just went to e vacuum store and i went to the link that armand sent and you couldn't get the uh the 47 dollar 100 pack anymore the price went up just just a little tiny bit so you know sales will come will come and go periodically so if you notice when i go and test these types of bags i was able to discover uh and it's pretty easy to kind of reason through this that if you want the best overall sealing performance from these type of bags, you see this little piece of cardboard right here? Now this will pop if you're if you're not familiar with this bag. When you go and you you put it in your machine and you close the bag door, it literally will sever this and it'll go ahead and, and pop this. And so this will actually bend inwards like this. But the problem is this will make a fairly good seal here. This is like a nice little rubber, but you'll get no seal right here. So it's possible you could get a tiny bit of leakage anyway. Leave it, don't leave it, it's up to you. Before I actually use these bags, I mean, you know, put them in the machine and, and turn it on and start picking up dirt, I just remove those little tabs. So I will be doing that um, for the tests in order to get a better seal with this rubber surround. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, obviously go ahead and leave them in there. So as we look at these bags, they look very similar. So you've got some little impressions, little little dots in these. Not sure really what they're for. Have a little green spot down here. The bags feel about, <clears throat> they feel about the same, but how about we weigh them? Let's 
Let's see. Can you see the screen on my new scale? Ooh. It's a little bright out here. Let's see. You know what? I think maybe we'll take this down into the lab where we can see that a little bit better. Hey, wow, how about that? Go into the studio where we have controlled lighting and you can see stuff. Okay, first up is the Vacuum America Clean Bag and that's 42.46 grams. And then here is the, the Vacuum Store Bag. Ooh, and it's lighter weight. So it's a few grams lighter. So I wonder what will the... Uh, filtration be like and this little cardboard piece right here uh, would still add a little bit of weight but I mean not much in case you were wondering let me cut the tab off and weigh it there we go cut the tab off and that little piece of cardboard weighs 0. 0.41 so yeah, this is definitely a lighter weight bag. I looked up the original date of when I last tested Electrolux C bags in this type of format. And I did three bag tests and it was back at the end of 2017. So, I mean, it's been years ago since I've done this. So this is a Kirby G5 and you can see I have the hose connected to, well, where the bag assembly would normally be. And the reason why I'm using this setup is because the output of this particular hose matches airflow wise the input of this particular 1401B. It's a little over 100 CFM. So that's pretty much where you want to go and you know test your bags is a similar CFM to what your vacuum can actually run at. So let's see what happens. Now I'm going to turn the volume down because this whole rig here runs pretty loud. Much louder than my voice, I think. Right, we started out with some particle uh, readings that were they were pretty good, but in the end, and I imagine you know uh, these bags because of you know packing material and whatever kind of fluff that could be you know on the on the material when you first start blowing a hundred some odd CFM through it, probably need to blow some of that stuff out. So we ended up with 0 0.3 microns of a little less than 1500. Be honest with you that's that's great it's not anywhere near h11 h11 would be close to zero or zero and it's certainly not ulpa and then the two and a half micron which is still a very small particle size zero and of course 10 i would expect 10 microns to also be zero so overall i would rate this as an h10 filtration quality bag well how about we test or retest this Vacuum America clean bag. This has been sitting in a box for a number of years, so it's possible there could be some dirt that might fly off of there. Even though these, I think, are in the same general category, so this 47 cent monster here is definitely better. So is it going to really make a difference in practical vacuuming? No, but hey, the blue e-vacuum store bags, 47 cents, did a better job than the, I don't know, <laughs> this bag might be from like five-year-old stock that paid a dollar for uh, vacuum America clean bags, but they still are to be considered generally in the H10 category. All right, here's our setup. And by the way, you'll see what I mean in a minute when we start to measure these bags. And I went and triple checked absolutely everything to make sure that these numbers 
made sense. So we're going to try two of the e-vacuum store blue bags, number one, you can see there, and number two. And there is the regular bag that I used to do some airflow tests with a number of years ago. Let's start out with that one. So the hose is stretched out. Let's see what we get for flow. Right, I'm going to say 89. Now let's switch out to test blue bag number one. Oh, and by the way, I see that there is a date code on these. I saw that. So what is it? Uh, made in People's Republic of China. Looks like May 30th of 2018, and they both have that same date code. So bag number one. Okay, remember that was the old peak of 89.3. Now let me reset. All right, that's a little on the low side. 78.4. So, 78.5. All right, that's... Uh, it's not really that good. So 78.5, I'll divide that by 89, was it 0.3? So we're about, say about 88%, we're about 12% low with airflow. That's weird. Okay, remember 78.5, let me change out for sample bag number two. Will this beat 78.5? Here we go. Okay, we're going to reset for the peak. Okay, rounded, that's going to be about 78. All right, 78.0. That's fine. We're in about we're within about a half a CFM or so. Oh, nope. It's almost going to be the same. Spoke too soon. So, within maybe about a tenth or so CFM. Hmm. I have been fretting about this measurement for some time, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I have done everything possible to make sure that all the connections are tight. I even made um, a new funnel and sealed it up just to make sure that there weren't these differences and there's a big problem with the CFM. So even some time later, I mean I've, I've retested and retested and retested at least six or seven times and I'm, I'm still in shock. I have just never seen a so-called HEPA bag reduce the airflow as much as these blue e-vacuum store bags. I just, I, I haven't. You're talking about a 12% loss and that's with nothing in the bags. Now, what's so nice about all HEPA bags, okay, more so than paper, is that as the bag fills, sure, you lose some CFM, but you don't lose that much. However, these are small bags. Compared to, say, a Kirby, a Royal, a Sanitaire, 
this doesn't have a whole lot of area. So you're going to lose CFM. You definitely will as this bag fills. And to start out 12% down, it really puts you in second place. Now, are, are these bags going to going to hurt your Electrolux? No, no, of course not. And if you have them, feel free to use them. It's not that big a deal. But you will start out with a 12% airflow loss. And I don't really know what it's going to be like as the blue bags fill up. Maybe they will lose um, airflow at a much higher rate than I would ever expect. You know, and without testing it, I, I can't exactly say. They do filter better, but they have, in my mind, unnecessary, unnecessarily high resistance in order to gain a little bit extra filtration. So, uh, I hate to say this, especially to Armand, who went to all the trouble to mail me these things, but because of a 12% CFM loss, when you start out with an empty bag, that I can't really recommend them. So use them if you have them, but if you were thinking about buying these, well, maybe spend a little more and get the Vacuum America clean bags. Or if you can find them, I don't believe they're around anymore, the, the, the perfect bags, they're the green ones. I have one box of those and I'm not opening them. So I'll use other bags and whatnot because I've got a lot of Electrolux Type C bags lying around. And I will save those perfect C bags for like a special occasion or maybe I'll just leave them in the box because those are the best bags that I've ever tested. So thanks so much Armand for sending me these things. Unfortunately, you can't uh, always have a winner every time. So I'm, I'm just as disappointed as, as you are. But uh, at this point in time, uh, use them, but just be aware that you're going to suffer some noticeable performance loss. Hey, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.